So I'm Richard, this is Johnny, Ivan and Keenan, and we're at Team Myra. We decided to enter because it seemed like a good idea for the graduates and apprentices at Myra. It seemed like a good project because it was a chance to learn new skills in building the car, to learn how to work as a team and just to have responsibility to take a project from start to finish, like on our own backs. Well, the teams are the graduates and the apprentices at Myra, so this is good because it gives us a diverse set of skills and backgrounds. So we assign the roles based on people's strengths and also what people want to learn that's new to them. First thing I've got a good interest in night sport and this is probably the closest we can get for a while. So yeah, I think it's just a fun experience on the whole really, personally. So. Uh, it can be quite challenging trying to find a uh, common time for people to meet. Uh, to work in a green power project. Uh, so we tend to work after hours. Uh, as well as using our uh, existing uh, knowledge and expertise in areas significant to the project. We also work uh, outside our comfort zone and try and develop our own, our own skills. To work in more than ordinary work as well. I think with the new body and the changes that we'll have made for the um, second, third and fourth races, I think the aim for us is probably to get a podium finish. I mean, we'd all be pretty happy with that. Yeah, we'd be so very happy. I think podium would be the, would the, aim, would be the aim for that. So. The reason why we entered to, decided to enter the Silver Line Cover Challenge was to improve the uh, Renishaw's corporate image within Green Power to try and get more people to know the name and come here to work. Well, we've been to two races so far with this car, so we've, we've got to a racing level, but in between each race there are always modifications and improvements that we can make. Well, personally for me, the most enjoyable part was designing the car. I've designed cars previously, but not the extent that I've designed this one. And it was just a good experience and um, getting to learn the uh, cab package here at Renishaw. Yeah. We've, had a, we've had a lot of support from the company and people that have volunteered even if they're not necessarily a part of the team, they've given us support for other things. And we've even had support from Silver Lining with the lovely toolkits. So. Yeah, the Silver Lining toolkits that we've used have been really high quality and we've managed to definitely managed to make use of them so it's been really helpful for that. They're always nicely packaged so we just we know where everything is. So, have you got the Oh yeah, yeah, it's good. So it's really good. I think we've got a good chance at winning. It purely depends on how well we can develop the car over the next four weeks before the final. My name is Matthew Rudling and I work for Jaguar Land Rover. So we've, uh, our company's decided to enter the Corporate Challenge uh, as a development exercise for the graduates. So we enter Green Power and the F24 Plus competition as well each year with a team of approximately 60 graduates. Uh, and it's seen by the business as a great opportunity for us to develop our engineering and our business practices. We've actually ran 10 races already this season. So we, uh, we're in the workshop a good two or three times a week over, well, over the last two years for me, um, so quite often. For me the most enjoyable part of it has actually been interacting with um, working with all the other kids that are involved in Green Power because it's, it's great to see these all these young people coming through that are passionate about engineering and it's good to be, a, I would like to be able to you know give them ideas or just show my enthusiasm uh, in for, a, I, you know I love engineering and I'd like to, I like that they are coming through and doing that as well. I'm here at Green Power um, because I'm supporting it this year. Um, I, I love the whole thing. I, I saw a Green Power event with a company called KMF from Stoke who um, got them up to do their sort of annual 
uh, apprenticeship challenge uh, and I went there and commentated a little bit and just got involved and I just loved it I fell in love with the whole idea and in fact I've actually got one of the kits now sitting in my garage and so I came today to see what the best of the best can do and to learn how to put it together in, a, in an efficient and aerodynamic and quick way yeah well of course silver line as I understand you're you know entwined with green power um, yeah so I'll be using that you know my little back my little backpack um, to uh, assemble the car